How does photodynamic therapy use apoptosis? Imagine a treatment that can selectively target cancer cells and gently encourage them to die off without harming the surrounding healthy tissue. That's what photodynamic therapy does, and it uses a process called apoptosis to achieve this. Apoptosis is a natural, controlled way for cells to die, and it's essential for keeping our tissues healthy. In photodynamic therapy, a special drug called a photosensitizer is given to the patient. This drug tends to gather more in cancer cells than in normal cells. Once the photosensitizer has accumulated, doctors shine a specific type of visible light onto the area. This light activates the drug, which then produces reactive oxygen species, or ROS. These are highly reactive molecules that cause oxidative stress, damaging parts of the cell like the mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum. This damage triggers the cell's internal death pathways, mainly through the intrinsic or mitochondrial pathway of apoptosis. In more detail, the ROS damage the mitochondria, which are the cell's energy factories. When mitochondria are injured, they release a protein called cytochrome C into the cell's fluid. This releases activates a series of proteins called caspases, which are like executioners that systematically dismantle the cell. The cell then shrinks, its nuclear material breaks apart, and the cell membrane forms blebs, all signs of apoptosis. This process is neat and tidy, meaning it avoids the inflammation and damage associated with other forms of cell death like necrosis. PDT also damages proteins that prevent apoptosis, such as BCL2, tipping the balance toward cell death. Sometimes, the stress caused by PDT also affects the endoplasmic reticulum, further promoting apoptosis through stress signaling pathways. In skin cancer treatment, this program cell death helps eliminate malignant cells efficiently while sparing the healthy skin around them. Interestingly, apoptosis triggered by PDT can also expose tumor antigens, which may stimulate the immune system to recognize and attack remaining cancer cells. The amount of apoptosis versus other cell death types depends on factors like the dose of light and photosensitizer used, as well as oxygen levels in the tissue. Lower doses tend to promote apoptosis, which is cleaner and causes less inflammation, while higher doses might lead to necrosis, which can cause more tissue damage. Overall, photodynamic therapy uses apoptosis by creating a controlled environment where reactive oxygen species damage cancer cells, mitochondria, and other structures, activating internal death pathways. This process helps clear tumors effectively and safely, making PDT a valuable option in skin cancer management. As always, it's important to discuss treatment options with healthcare professionals to determine what's best for each individual situation.